Hello friends, welcome to part 5 of Laravel 12 multi-binary command series. In this part, we will generate the admin login credentials with Cedar. The admin credentials are required to login into the admin panel. We require username and password and that we will generate with the help of Cedar. So we are going to take uh, these steps, okay? But before that, uh, we will uh, review the earlier videos. If you have missed the earlier videos, then you must watch those. See, in the part 0, we have taken the overview of the multi vendor e-commerce website. In the part 1, uh, we have installed Laravel 12 and configured our database. In the part 2, we able to integrate the admin panel template, admin dashboard, we able to merge. And in part three, we able to uh, merge the admin login page as well. And in part four, we able to create the admin middleware and protect admin routes. And now in the part five, we are going to generate the admin login credentials with Cedar. So we are going to take these steps uh, so that we can able to generate the admin uh, username and password so that the admin can able to login, okay? So in the first step, we are going to generate this admin stable Cedar. Uh, that we are going to create uh, with the help of this cedar command okay so we are going to run this artisan command uh, for our laravel 12 project okay so here i will go uh, inside my folder sdocs personal and this is my project ecom 12 uh, and i am going inside the folder and will right click and will run the git bash you can run the command prompt as well and if you are using the mac operating system then you are required to uh, click on this folder and right click then you need to uh, run your terminal okay uh, but here in windows we are required to go inside the folder and we can uh, right click show more options git bash here i hope that you have installed the git bash in the beginning of the series okay uh, so here we are going to run this command and that is the php artisan make cedar admin stable cedar so we are going to create this file admin stable cedar so that file will help us uh, to generate the admin username and password okay so we are going to run this and see this file has been created this file we are going to open here admin table cedar okay so after that we will write the query to generate the admin credentials okay so in admin table we are going to see that uh, uh, exactly what credentials we are required to generate okay not only the username password but also the other columns we are required to generate okay so here we need to make sure the apache server and mysql is running and for that i will check here and we'll run mysql is not running so i'm going to run it and here i will click on retry to connect so now it's running fine okay so i'm going to open the ecom 12 database that we have created for this laravel 12 multi vendor e-commerce series and here we are going to open this admins table okay i'm going to check its structure so here you can see that we are required to insert one record with the help of cedar we are required to generate the id name role mobile email password image status okay and timestamps so we are going to write the query and along with that uh, one thing that password we are required to generate the hash password okay so uh, there is the syntax for generating the hash password that we are required to follow okay and also uh, we are required to include these namespaces okay we are required to uh, include the admin model as well as we are required to use hash okay so hash is required for generating the hash password and we are going to generate uh, the hash password with the help of this function hash make function and we will generate the password one two three four five six okay but in the hash format so this is the uh, this is the statement this is the syntax that we are required to use in our query okay and we will write the query to generate the new admin to insert the new admin okay uh see name will be this one role is admin mobile email and password password is the hash password okay status we will keep as one okay so we are going to write this query here uh, inside our function okay this will insert one entry 
uh, with these details, with these credentials. Here, the main thing is the email and password uh, by which we are going to log in into the admin panel. Okay. And in the next step, uh, we are going to update database header file. Okay. So we are going to update the database header file located at the database headers to call the admin table header class. Okay. So uh, we will call this admin table header class inside the database header. Okay. So here we are going to call this uh, admin table header. Okay. So that uh, it will execute uh, the header command inside the admin table header. Okay. So we are going to run this command, run this artisan command, php, uh, php artisan db seed uh, class admin table header. So this command will finally uh, insert the admin credentials in the admin table. Okay. So we are going to run this command. So let's see seeding database and uh, database header hash not found. We are going to uh, make sure okay so we forgot to add those namespaces uh, that i have mentioned earlier so we are required to add these two namespaces here we are required to include the admin model as well as the use hash okay we are required to include uh, the admin model as well as the use hash uh, inside the admin table header here we are going to add uh, these two statements okay So we are required to include these classes inside the admin table header, uh, and after that we are going to check now. We are going to run the command once again. We are going to run this PHP addition db seed command once again, and this time it has been done. Now we are going to see the entry must have come up here, and yes, we are able to insert one entry, one record with the help of the header. Uh, we are able to generate. Uh, this entry okay you can see the name role mobile email and then the password password in the hash format and this password is one two three four five six image we have not used so far and status is one okay so we able to insert uh, one record in the admin table with the help of the header and and in the next video uh, we are going to work on the admin login functionality and logout functionality okay so in part 6 we will work on admin login and logout functionality and will register an admin guard upon login and destroy it upon logout okay so you can watch the earlier series you can watch these videos and uh, make sure that you bookmark and follow the full playlist full multi vendor e-commerce playlist so that you will not miss any video and please subscribe to stack developers youtube channel for more laravel 12 updates and for multi vendor e-commerce series so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye